All right, let's start class. All right. Uh, I want to discuss two problems before we before we move on to next uh, a new topic. So the sphere is inscribed a cube. It's a quick review, okay? So a sphere is inscribed in a cube. And the edge length of the cube is given six. Right? Find the volume of the sphere. All right, so first of all, you'll write down the volume formula for the sphere. The volume formula for the sphere is the four pi r cubed divided by three. Okay, so you just need to figure out the radius, right? So you look at the sphere, which is inscribed in the inscribed in the in the cube, right? So the top and bottom touch two faces. So clearly, the radius is going to be three because the boys is inscribed in the cube. That's the easy problem, right? Then you you figure radius. Once you figure radius, you solve the problem. Okay. So the volume is going to be four pi, and the three cube divided by three. Then uh, and the three cube divided by three is three square, and then thirty six pi. Okay. Yeah. The second problem uh, is going to be uh, the next one. Uh, let's draw the picture. Consider the following tetrahedron with the three faces. Each is ice. Each is an ice sauceless right triangle with edge length of a. Be quiet. Okay. So triangular base is the equilateral triangle of square root of two uh, uh, a. Okay. So here's a picture. This is a base, okay? The base is gonna be uh, equilateral triangle. Okay, square root two a, square root two a, square root two a. Then we build up, uh, we build up an uh, tetrahedron, okay, tetrahedron. And each side is, this is the right triangle. Okay, so this is a. That's a. See, if you have an a and an a, then this will be square a. Okay, because this is a right. Uh, uh, I saw this is a right triangle. So find the height of the tetrahedron from the vertex to the center of the equilateral triangle. So find the find this height. Okay. So of course, it will be the center of the equilateral triangle. The height will, yeah, the foot point of the height will be in the center of it because those three faces, three side faces, they're all identical, okay? They're all identical, right? So those are three faces, they're all identical. It's going to be, sorry, so if you look at the three faces, here's a, yeah, this is a, yeah, let's draw this way. It's a square of 2a, okay? And the bottom is an equilateral triangle, uh, 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 equilateral triangle, right? This is a base, okay, the base. Let me mark it. This is a base. Let's use this color, and this is going to be the color. Okay. And, uh, And the side, you know, this will be side. And that is the side. Right. So I try to, yeah, try to draw the picture. All right. So how to find the height H? Okay. You needed to draw the line from the middle. Okay. Then this is the X. So you can apply the Pythagorean theory 
to that vertical right triangle, which is h squared plus x squared is going to be the side length is a, so it's a squared. So where's x? x is the distance from from the center of the equilateral triangle to the vertex of the equilateral triangle. All right, so how do you figure out x? Right, this, it's equilateral triangle, so you draw the line, and this is going to be 30 degree, right? The special one. Okay. <clears throat> so, so square root 2a divided by 2 is going to be square root 3 over 2x. Tell why. Because this is a right triangle. Okay. Uh, a special right triangle, 30 degree. So the, 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 the side, yeah, it's a 30 degree. If this is a C, that'll be a square of three over two C. That'll be half of C. So that's why square of three X is should be equal to half of square. Of then from there, you can solve for X. X is going to be square over two, square of three A, okay? Then you put into the above equation, you can get an H. Yeah, you can do it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we uh, we uh, we can solve this equation, right? H square plus two over three a square equals a square. So you move uh, this term to the right hand side. You get one third of a square. So that implies H is going to be one third a square. So if you rationalize the denominator, uh, you will get the square three over three a. Okay, so that's it. So this is a difficult problem. Yeah, you have to, uh, but we did a similar one, right, in doing the class. So when you have trouble to solve the problem, you look at the notes. They are similar problems already discussed. So in April, we are going to finish our course, then, then followed by review in May and uh, in June. So today's topic is about counting techniques. Okay, so this is a, ch yeah, it's not easy to count. Okay, that will be, have, yeah, this is a chapter. Okay, it's not easy to count things. Okay, so the idea is, uh, uh, if a procedure can be performed in a several steps, okay, if each step you have a number of options, then, okay, then uh, the question is how many different ways to complete the procedure? Then just the product of the numbers, the number of the options in each step. Okay, you multiply them up. Okay, so this is the, the, the idea. So let's let's look at the problem. Okay. So it if if it involves several steps. Yeah, if it involves several steps, you know, suppose yeah. Yeah, step one. If you got n one options. Step two, you get N2 options, okay? And then step K, you get NK options. After it goes through all the steps, 